What you doing? You ain't doing nothing? Okay, good. Because this is about this is about Jesus Christ. God, our Father. And if you don't want to hear about that, go ahead and keep on scrolling. Because listen, 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 listen. There's a lot of people on this app teaching the Bible, verses and words and things like that. And a lot of them are... If these kids don't stop with this horn down the street, these kids keep playing in their mama's van and I'm about to go ride down there and just... Yeah. I'm about to go hit them with my Bible blicky. Go hit them with a couple Bible verses. That's all. Nothing serious. You know, nothing, nothing, nothing violent. Nothing hurtful. But listen, though. A lot of people on this app are teaching Bible verses and doing Bible studies and words, okay? A lot of them are teaching it well and teaching it very truly, and they are doing a great job. Some of them don't have a full understanding quite yet, and then some of them are really just taking Bible verses and shaping and molding them into what they want them to be to make themselves look good and holy and that's what the devil does okay let me just make sure that you get an understanding of that that is what satan does he takes bible scriptures and he reshapes them and you know put them in this little bitty glitter ball and wah, makes them really pretty and makes them conform to worldly, worldly things you know what i'm saying he he, he dresses them up and makes them conform to worldly things. You see what I'm trying to say? Like, you know, nah, 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 it's a lie. He's get your Bible and read and open up your Bible app and read for yourselves, okay? Because like I said, people on here, they make these Bible scriptures do backflips. They turn them into a contortionist and, and bend them and ugh, shape them up to make them conform to their lifestyle and things that they're doing that are not of God, okay? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's okay to stumble and flip and fumble and fall, but do not lead others to do that as well. That's terrible. That's awful. You cannot be making others stumble, okay? If you don't have an understanding of scriptures, don't even be trying to teach them. Don't, just don't. I was going to say that that's okay. You just don't have an understanding yet, but it's not okay for you to be teaching them and you don't have an understanding yet. So what I just seen about the angel number, she used this scripture right here and didn't even start from the top of the scripture. She started from the middle of the scripture, which said, okay, it says, um, oh, they, she said they use astrology and astronomy and the Bible and stars and blah, blah, blah. God told them on, and in Isaiah 47, 13, God said, let your astrologers come forward. Those, th those strategizers who make predictions month by month, let them save you from what is to come upon you. So she was saying that that scripture was, was God telling them to let their astrologers and the people that make predictions month by month lead them for what is to come. But what was to come? What did they need to be led from? God's wrath. But if you go from 47 and start at 40, Isaiah 47, 11 and take it all the way down to 14 read the top of, of the verse and the bottom like say if somebody throw you out there isaiah 13 boom god it's biblical it's in there say it's isaiah 13 that's just one little verse like go from at least three verses up to that verse and then three verses down read completely so you can understand content content con context <laughs> Okay, context. Okay, so let me take you here because it, it just bothered me. You know what I'm saying? Not to even saying that they was doing this on purpose, but God, Lee, y'all, all you got to do is read. Whew. All right. So she was trying to use this to make angels, angel numbers okay, right? To make angels number not demonic. No, they're not demonic. It's in the Bible. 47 is about the fall of Babylon. I don't know if you can see that. This is my small Bible, but you just open it up yourself. It's the fall, the fall of Babylon. This is not, God was not, this was their fall. Okay. So I'm going to just take it from uh, Isaiah 47, 11 to, 4, 11 to 14. I'm going to go three verses up. What's that? Yeah, that's three verses up. And then I'm going to take it to 14, right? So if you would just read. She's trying to use that to say that that was okay. Astrology, astronomy. No, God was saying, baby, they can't even save you. Boom. Here we go. Let's read from 11. Disaster will come upon you and you will not know how to conjure it away. A calamity will fall upon you that you cannot wait. You cannot ward away with your ransom. A catastrophe you cannot foresee will suddenly come upon you. I ain't this thing. I'm going to keep on then. 
And then he said, keep on then. <laughs> yeah, keep that up. Like in that tone, baby. If you read the whole thing, you would know what the tone and the context of, of what he was saying. He was like, keep on then with your magic spells <laughs> and your sorcery. With you have labor, which you have labored at since childhood. Perhaps, which you have labored since childhood. Perhaps you will, perhaps you will cause terror. All the counsel you have received has only worn you out. It ain't did nothing but worn you out, baby. Then he said, let, let your astrologers come forward. Those strategizers who make predictions month by month. Let them save you from what is to come. Surely they will like stubble. Surely like stubble, they will burn. Surely like stubble, the fire will burn them up. Excuse me, the sun in my eyes. Surely like stubble, the fire will burn them up. Who is that fire? God. All right. They cannot save themselves. They cannot even save themselves from the power of the flame. Who that flame? God the Father. They can't even save themselves from God the, fa the Father. But you trusting in them instead of me. This is what he's saying over here, okay? There are not... Okay, where, where, where we at? These are not coals of warmth. This is not of warmth, is what he's saying. Like, this is not my... My fire can be very warm and comforting, but this ain't one of them type of fires. This one of them type of fire. This ain't one of them type of fire. This one of them type of fires. Because you go into these councils that makes predictions month by month and magic spells and blah, blah, blah. See what I'm saying? If you just open up your Bible, but I've seen so many people like under there in the comments like thank you sis i needed this okay i needed this i've been seeing angel numbers i needed this i needed this thank you sis in agreement instead of just opening up that bible when she threw that verse out there but the first thing you should have did was oh let me go see did god really say that this is how you should be about your god the father about your relationship with him your own personal relationship with him should be like oh i heard somebody say that i kind of needed that word but wait a minute let me go check with my father myself let me go open this up myself, okay? And that's not saying that God can't communicate with you through numbers. He can communicate with you however he wants to. But what you got to do first is get gain a better understanding of him and get that and get that rhythm going. You and him, all right, now we got a relationship. Now I know how my father's talking to me. So if he is talking to me through numbers, I know what he's trying to say. Oh, go read that number in the Bible. If he does, not to say that he cannot, but when you see these things and angel numbers being taught, they're being taught in the occult. They're being taught in new age. They're not being taught from biblical stance. They're not being taught from there. So of course, everybody is gonna say that they're demonic because they are, okay? Do you not understand? Please, y'all, just read y'all Bible, okay? Because it just really pulled on my heart. Like, every time I see this, so many people have, like, just a thirst and a hunger to learn spiritual things. And it's natural because we are spirits and our father is a spirit. This is why he left the book. I'm going to always tell you to go read your Bible, y'all. Read your Bible, man. I hate seeing stuff like that, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Read that Bible so you can have your own ammo loaded up. Boop, boop. And I did. I commented in the comments and I just said read. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to argue with nobody and all that. But just please don't make others stumble if because you don't have an understanding. You're trying to teach it. And I'm not saying that I know everything either. I don't know everything. I don't, I'm still learning too. But baby, I'm building that relationship. And I know how my father is talking to me right now through this Bible. And he might talk to me in other ways in the future. It's, it's a growing and learning everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. We got to learn how to build our own relationship. Okay? God bless you. I just had to get that off my chest. Whew.